In 2010, the Ohio Bobcats fell to St. Bonaventure in four overtimes. Tonight, DJ Cooper and company made sure history did not repeat itself. Number five drilled a three-pointer with 38 seconds remaining and helped seal the game from the free throw line as Ohio improved to a perfect 6-0 on the season with a 69-64 win over the Bonnies. The pace of the game was set right from the get-go. A lot of half-court basketball with emphasis on defense and, of course, rebounding. Ohio went on a 6-0 run during the first portion of the first half to take a 12-6 lead after an and one conversion by T.J. Hall. But the Bonnies showed their resilience, pulling the game within three, just 14 seconds later on an Eric Mosley three-pointer. Still, when it was all said and done, the first half was dominated by Ohio. The Bobcats capped off the half with a six to one run and took a 37 to 29 lead into the locker room. Still, the Bonnies shot the ball well in the first half, 50%, 10 of 20 from the field, led by bench player Eric Mosley. A perfect four of four from three-point land. He had 12 points through 20 minutes of play, despite playing just 10 minutes. For Ohio, it was all Walter off it all the time. 11 points, two rebounds, and an assist for the Ohio State transfer. DJ Cooper and Nick Kellogg each chipped in eight points for the Bobcats as well. Ohio forced 11 St. Bonaventure turnovers through the first 20 minutes. The Bobcats kept the momentum going to begin the second half, leading by as many as 11 points but the Bonnies slowly began to claw back into the game, eventually taking the lead on an 11-0 run. 56-53 Bonnies with 6.52 remaining. Then it got interesting. Ohio took the lead with 1.16 remaining, coming out of a timeout. John Smith threw down a two-handed dunk. The assist went to DJ Cooper, one of his eight on the night. But the Bonnies came right back, led by Chris Johnson who sank a jumper to give St. Bonaventure a one-point lead, 64-63, with just 49 ticks to go. And then it was Cooper time. With 38 seconds left, DJ Cooper drills a three-pointer off of an inbounds play to put the Cats up for good, 66-64. to Here's what DJ had to say about the shot. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't plan on it. I mean, I didn't, you know, when I was bringing the ball down, I didn't think about it. I was just trying to attack. You know, uh, it was like 35 seconds left. And, uh, I was open, you know, me and Coach work on that, that shot every day, you know, before practice, before game. So I just stepped up and knocked it down with confidence. And the Bobcats finished the game on a high note, a 6-0 to run to help give them the five-point victory. Leading the Cats in scoring, who else but D.J. Cooper. A modest 5 of 12 from the field, but boy did he come through when his teammates needed it the most. Walter Offit and Nick Kellogg also got it done from the guard spots, 14 and 13 points respectively. After the game, Coach Christian was more than pleased with his team's tenacity and intensity to pull this game out in the waning seconds. You know, this was our first kind of close game, our first time coming back from behind. Um, and the resiliency of our team, I'm obviously very, very impressed with. And now I'm excited to get go out and watch the tape and, and have us understand, okay, there's a lot of little small things that we did, especially in a game like this when every possession is, is magnified that we're going to lo learn and grow from. And that was whether we would have won or lost the game. It's going to be a great moment for our team to grow. After a perfect six-game homestand, it's now time for the Bobcats to take their talents on the road. Next stop is Moon, Pennsylvania, where Christian's crew will try to avenge last season's loss to the Robert Morris Colonials. That's all I have from the Convocation Center. Reporting for the Bobcat Sports Showcase, I'm Pat Chiesa.